From the day that he was sworn in on January 20th, 2017, to the end of the year, December 31st of 2017, Donald Trump managed to spend 26% of his days as president on the golf course. Furthermore, he spent 33% of his days at a Trump owned or branded property uh, in the United States. These trips, specifically the golf trips that he took in the year 2017, cost US taxpayers $43 million. $43 million. Do you understand what that kind of money could do here in the United States? Sure, it couldn't fix massive problems like give us universal health care or debt free college, but it sure as hell could add more money to the pot for things like Medicaid or Medicare or Social Security. It could help rebuild a couple of bridges, maybe. Maybe repair some roads that are dangerous and deadly or rail track that's falling apart, causing all of these high-speed uh, train disasters. This is exactly what he wanted to use the presidency to do. To play golf, to have fun, to have the power, and to make money. And so far, throughout the entire year of 2017, he played every single person in this country. We had had reports throughout the year of how expensive it was for the Secret Service to rent golf carts and hotel rooms and buy food and the plane trips and all of this. But not until now did we know that that tally came to $43 million. They thought the government was going to use it to pay teachers a little bit more. So we got better quality teachers and a higher quality of education. They thought the government was going to use that money to take care of the sick and the poor and the helpless, the people who need a hand. But instead, we're using it to pay for a man in his 70s to go play golf at his own golf courses and then pocket the money himself. Meanwhile, he's cutting all kinds of programs that were meant to help the rest of us just because he can. Not because he needs to, but because he can. That's the kind of psychopath that we're dealing with in the White House today. And hopefully, in 2018, we're going to go forward with our eyes a little bit more open, our anger at just a little bit higher level, because we cannot afford another year as with Donald Trump as the president spending 43, maybe even upwards of 50 or more million dollars a year just to play golf. That's not what he was elected to do.